to approximate the integral from 0 to 2 of x cubed dx. And we're going to use only four partitions to do this. So, we are looking at the graph of y equals x cubed, and we're looking at the span from 0, x equals 0, to x equals 2. Now, first thing to think about is how far apart are 0 and 2? Well, 0 and 2 are 2 apart, and we are going to partition that space into four equal partitions. So we're going to make four equal rectangles out of the space from 0 to 2. So how wide should each of our rectangles be? Well, if our total space is 2, and we want to break it up into four equal parts, then 2 divided by 4 is 1 half. So each of our h's here is going to be 1 half. The first thing I always do is I always start with my first x value, starting off at x equals 0, and then I look at each of the different partitions, and I draw those x values as well. So 0.5 to the right of 0 is 0.5, and then 1, and then 1.5, and then 2. All right. So we can start to actually visualize what this thing is going to look like, at least what our graph is going to look like. Well, we're using a left Riemann approximation, which means that when I draw my rectangles, I'm drawing my rectangles from the left-hand side. So x equals 0 is going to go up to f of 0. So that will be the first height of the first rectangle. Furthermore, my second rectangle will be right here. And by the way, these heights of the rectangles they have nothing to do with x cubed right now. I'm just creating a bunch of rectangles that have different heights so I can distinguish which rectangle is which. Now my second rectangle has height going from 0.5 up to the function value, so that's f of 0.5, or really 0.5 cubed. Now my third rectangle, again, doesn't really matter where it is, what it looks like, just so I can know that it's a third separate rectangle. That one has a height at 1. So this is f of 1. And then finally my last rectangle goes from 1.5 to 2 and since this is a left Riemann approximation I'm going from 1.5 up to the top right here. So that will be f of 1.5. Okay? So now we can actually figure out using our formula or using the area of rectangles, what the approximation for this area is going to be. Now take a look at what this thing actually looks like. Just as we drew above, this is the graph of y equals x cubed right here from 0 all the way up to 2. Our first rectangle starts off at 0 comma 0 because, well, f of 0 is 0, 0 cubed is 0, and that just goes along the x-axis. Our second rectangle is from 0.5, which is exactly what we noted right here. So 0 0.5 will distinguish where our next rectangle is, and 1 half cubed is 1 eighth. So this function value right here is 1 eighth, and that goes all the way over. So the height of my second rectangle is 1 eighth. Furthermore, my third rectangle, which we said goes from 1, so our height there is f of 1, well 1 cubed is just 1, and lo and behold, this rectangle does indeed have that height. Finally, 1.5 is 3 halves, 3 halves cubed is 27 over 8, so the function value here is about 27 over 8, that's a bit more than 3, is exactly what we have uh, right here, and that's my last rectangle. So even without drawing the graph of x cubed and having to draw your rectangles in there, which takes a really long time, we could have just looked at this particular chart right here where we created these x values by looking at the total space from 0 to 2 and how many partitions we have, and we just drew out those different x values. And then we created rectangles on top to be able to visualize it. 
area now. Our common h, or the width of our rectangles, is 0.5, so we can factor that out of the sum of the area of our rectangles. We're left with f of 0 plus f of 0.5 plus f of 1 plus f of 1.5. So when you plug in these numbers into x cubed, we have 0.5 times 0 cubed is 0, 0.5 cubed is 1 eighth, 1 cubed is 1, and 3 halves cubed is 27 over 8, and when you do all of this out, you get 2.25. And so the approximation for the integral of x cubed from 0 to 2, using LRAM and 4 partitions, is 2.25.